So today we are going to be making a cloud in a jar. Very simply, you will need hot water. I have about a cup in here and it is boiling hot. A large jar, but any size jar will do. Some hairspray for this one and some ice cubes. So what we are going to do first is make a prediction. With all of these things, what is going to be some form of chemical reaction. Obviously we know there's going to be a cloud in a jar, but how can we get a cloud inside this jar? Well, we know that to form a cloud, we need three things. So turn to your partner, discuss what you think those three things are that we need, and we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so we've been discussing atmospheric pressure, we've been discussing the water cycle. So we, we know that to form clouds, we need moisture, heat and we need something for those particles to collect to so there are three things that we need so let's start out by first pouring our hot water into the jar and immediately we should start to see something happening so let's observe what do you see happening in this jar already we see it get foggy we can see that there's condensation building up we can even see from the cup that there is still some form of steam rising. So let's open this up and next let's add our hairspray. Just some spray. Okay, there's that. Let's cover that back up and let's put our ice cubes on top of our jar. Mine are kind of melted, but that shouldn't do much. So we're gonna let that rest for a second and we're gonna make some predictions. It's a little harder to see because there is so much condensation built up already. But if we take a closer look at the jar, we can see that something is happening on the inside. It's getting extremely cloudy. Now, what do you guys think is going to happen if I take this lid with my ice on it off of the jar. Do you think that it's going to stay stagnant in there and nothing is going to move? Do you think that there's going to be some large quantities of evaporation? Do you think that things are just gonna disappear? What do you think? Oh, I didn't even notice. There was a little gap. Do you think that gap is going to prevent something from happening in my jar? What do you think? In your science notebooks, I want you guys to give me some examples of what you think is going to happen when I lift this lid off. Okay, we'll come back in about two minutes. All right, somebody raise your hand and tell me what you predict is going to happen when I take that lid off. Okay, so by show of hands, do you think that nothing is going to happen? By show of hands, do you think that something is going to come out of the jar? By show of hands, do you think this is even going to work or we just totally wasted our time? Okay, so let's see what happens when I take the lid off of the jar. Oh, it's cold. Oh, wow, look at that. Obviously, we have formed some kind of condensation. So what's happening as it rises up? Do we think that this is becoming part of the atmosphere itself? What do we remember about the water cycle? We know that things have to evaporate upwards for it to become clouds. I'm gonna put that back on there. So now what? Look at that. Do we think that it's gonna fill up again? We can see that some of the condensation is starting to drip. What will we call that? When something forms in a cloud and it gets too heavy, what happens? It starts to rain, correct? It's very interesting. So what do you think would happen if we didn't use the hairspray? Because the idea of the hairspray, thank you to Herbal Essence for being part of this experiment, was to give it something to grab onto. So such as dust particles in the air, um, very, very extremely small molecules, make it hard or make it possible for clouds to form. So, I mean, there may be some dust in there, but I think we can thank the hairspray for that. Let's see. Do we think that it formed more clouds? Oh, 
it's still coming out. Interesting. Oh, and it smells good. Clouds normally probably don't smell like herbalescence hairspray. But that was neat. So we see that condensation forming. We know that we have the heat from the water. We know that we have the particles from the hairspray for it to gather on. And we know that we have the cold atmospheric pressure from the ice cubes. So where do you guys think the next phase of this science experiment would go? What would be our next phase if we were to make some predictions? We have the weather channel coming up. We're gonna watch that for a few minutes and we're gonna make some predictions about the weather this next coming week because it's been kind of odd. We've got cold, we've got warm, we've got a whole mixture in between. So we're gonna make some actual weather predictions and see what happens. Great job, guys.